This conference will now be recorded. Good afternoon everyone. On behalf of Shreya C Learning Academy, we welcome you for this our next session of Arsha series. We are very much fortunate to have with us today with us Dr. P Hemanta Kumar sir. Dr. P Hemanta Kumar sir has completed his MS in Shalya Chandra his PhD. He is currently dean in PG studies, professor and head of the department of PG department of Shalya Tantra in National Ayurveda Institute of National Institute of Ayurveda, Jaipur. Sir has completed his BMS in 1992. His MS from Institute of Medical Science, that is Banaras Hindu University, Varanasi, in 1997. Sir has completed his PhD in Shalya Tantra from NIA, that is National Institute of Ayurveda, Jaipur, in 2010. Sir has title of thesis in MS, that is role of Aravaladi Sutra in management of Bhagandara. And his title of thesis in PhD was to evaluate the efficacy of Madhu Shara Sutra, Vishyandan Tail and Panchadikta Gutagugud in management of Bhagandara. Sir has attended many workshops, seminars, conferences, symposiums. He has more than 15, at, uh, 15 paper presentations at various national and international seminars. He has published more than 100 research articles in many peer-reviewed journals. He has guided more than 40 PG scholars in Shalya Tantra. He has published many books, out of which some of are the recent advances in management of Arsha, that is hemorrhoids. He has also published a book in recent trends in the management of hemorrhoids from Saukhamba Sultan Pratishtan. He is also a contributor, a manual of manual on fistuline anno and Kshara Sutra therapy. He has received many awards, out of which some are Acharya Award in 2017 from CCIM that is Central Council of Indian Medicine and Ministry of Ayush, New Delhi. He has received Sushrut Ratna Award in 2019, 2009, sorry, a prestigious award received from National Sushrut Association, India. He has received second rank in BMS degree in SV Ayurveda Medical College, Tirupati, NTR University, and first rank in Hyderabad PG entrance uh, conducted by NTR University of Health Science in 1994. He is also recipient of Best Teacher Award in 2008, Best Doctor Award in 2006 in SDM College of Ayurveda and Hospital Hassan on occasion of Doctor's Day. He has also received Bishak Award in 2010. He has received Young Shushrut Award given by SSR Ayurvedic Medical College uh, and Hospital that is Inchal in Karnataka. He has done many parasurgical procedures like Shara Karma, Shara Sutra, Agni Karma, Rakta Mokshan, Sira He is also proficient in Marma Chikitsa. That is, he is regularly doing uh, Marma uh, therapy in patients like frozen shoulder, lumbar disc prolapse, cervical spondylosis, migraine. He has also uh, performed surgeries like partial thyroidectomy, total thyroidectomy. Also been a part of plastic surgery, that is skin grafting, burn contracture release, and many minor surgeries also, that is IND, suture, liver biopsy, removal of foreign bodies, and many such more procedures. So without taking much of his time, I'll request our today's guest speaker to please begin with his session. Thank you, sir. Over to you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, my friend. And <clears throat> Om Dhanvantara Maha, Om Anjanada Maha, respected <clears throat> all the Ayurveda fraternity, teachers, students, and practitioners who are attending regularly this program uh, for <clears throat> promoting Ayurveda. See, today the allotted topic me the Kshara Karma in Rectal Prolapse. So I think everybody knows about our institution. Uh, that is the National Institute of Ayurveda, Jaipur. And uh, this is the institution 
of <clears throat> autonomous body and recently it is converted as a deemed to be university and uh, nac a accredited nabh accredited and uh, it has all the 14 departments in pgs and we are undertaking of under graduation post graduation nursing and other certificate courses see before starting of sharakarma uh, in uh, rectal prolapse see what are the services especially in chelle tantra available in our department one is anorectal unit number two is general surgery unit then orthopedic and marma chikitsa unit endoscopic unit like gastroscopy colonoscopy sigma endoscopy etc and we have a fully equipped operation theater with all facilities and laparoscopic and accessories recently we purchased ipd and another duty of our department we will train hands on training program to the students by surgical practice that's why our logo is hand to hand surgical training and uh, recently we purchased two man canes two simulators for training to pg and ug scholars uh, to see in all aspects uh by endotracheal intubations paracentesis thoracocentesis and catheterization trauma management etc through mankins see another advanced multi purpose human patient training tool for anesthesia training this mankin can assess just like a human body and we can see all the parameters like pulse bp and uh, all the effect of the drugs if you given into the this uh, simulator we can see in the multi parameter monitor and we pressure that the simulator will give oxygen nitrous oxide and uh, with ventilator support and the defibrillator uh, demonstration on the mankin all types of training programs we can conduct this mankin this is the susutas concept of yogya vidhi and we have a mock drills to manage emergency and these are the major surgeries we are practicing in our institution like galbada today morning also we operated cholecystectomy and uh, all types of tumors all types of hernial repairs and orthopedic surgeries we have a cr facility is there and we are performing all intramedullary nails screws and plates and open fractures and plastic surgeries like reconstruction of the nose ear skin grafting and proctology all types of anorectal cases like hemorrhoids fistula rectal prolapse abscess sinus etc and the minor surgical procedures like hydrocele polydactyly lipo mass circumcision etc and marma chikitsa and this is also we have a separate unit started to practice in uh, musculoskeletal disorders with good results and uh, bloodletting procedures like prachana karma jaluka vachana shunga vacharana sira vedana etc and agni karma like back ache arthritis frozen shoulder uh, and agni karma especially for wards excision corn excision and chara karma and chara sutra and these are the major operation theater statistics in our department in nia and this is the statistics 2009 to 2020 we gradually improved uh, all types of surgical procedures performing in our department then coming to uh, real topic before starting this rectal prolapse see this is the symbol i created uh symbol of proctology uh, anguli evam pradana yantram kudavikare see this is the very important uh, the finger is very important for the diagnosis of anorectal diseases 
that's a finger examination is very important uh, to identify so many diseases like benign tumor malignant tumors and the sinus internal openings polyps etc uh, abscess this is that's why i created this symbol and i think google also you can see the anguli is very important and coming to guda bramsa in ayurvedic classics they mention two words guda and bramsa guda is a part situated at the lower part of stoola antara having four and angulas in length that means end part of large intestine what it is called that is guda bramsa means displacement prolapse of entity from its normal position that is called as bramsa see there are so many references available in the classics susruta acharya they mentioned guda bramsa one of the disease in chudra roga in danastan and he mentioned chikitsa stan uh, about uh, guda bramsa and uh, actually chara karma the usually it is not mentioned the indication in uh, guda bramsa chapter but if you go for asha chikitsa asha chikitsa susuta mentioned uh, four types of treatment bheshaj chara agni shastra karma in chara karma uh, uh, sloka they mentioned about chara application petisarniya chara applied on brushta guda so brushta thing as a guda bramsa charakachari also they mentioned about guda bramsa is the complication of atisara in atisara chikitsa in chikitsa sta and also he mentioned about the complication in virechana ati yoga mentioned about siddhi sthana of charaka samhita siddhi sthana of charaka samhita that means he mentioned as a complication of atisara and also complication of virechana ati yoga vagbata also mentioned same like charaka acharya atisara chikitsa is mentioned and management also is mentioned in atisara chikitsa as a complication and coming to applied anatomy and physiology of rectal prolapse this is very important how it is the prolapse of rectum occurs this anatomy is very essential there are two curves and tilts of the pelvis shift to weight of the abdominal organs forward away from the pelvic floor the stability of the rectum is greatly aided by the support of levator ani muscle that's why levator ani is a very important muscle it provides a firm fixation to the pelvic floor without it the rectum would slip down through the muscle during defecation so during if there is any defect in uh, levator ani and other things then there is a slip of the muscle during defecation and piborectal sling another is piborectal sling elevate lower end of the rectum and tilting it forward towards the pubis creating acute anorectal ring you see here there is acute anorectal ring if it is disturbed the relaxation of the piborectal is muscle the descent of the pelvic floor and rectum becomes more vertical you can see the second third picture second picture it is the normal condition of the rectum then maintaining as acute anorectal angle and the here the angle is vertical in nature then it indicates a rectal prolapse so during defecation intra abdominal pressure rises by increased contraction of abdominal wall and diaphragm contraction of levator ani muscle is inhibited the piborectal sling lengthens and pelvic floor descends then obliterate the anorectal angle see this is very important one is piborectal sling and other is a levator ani muscle so coming to nidana of rectal prolapse one is aharaja number 2 is viharaja number 3 adas aharaja especially vata prakopa ahara apatya sevana 
and viharaja pravahana this is very important continuous straining atisara virechana ati yoga see these are viharaja factors leads to rectal collapse some other factors like ruksha deha and durbala deha they definitely observe that rectal collapse commonly seen in the children is due to malnutrition or maybe in the elder patient there is due to malnutrition okay this is also very beautifully explained in ayurveda uh, one of the important point for uh, development of the rectal collapse see here they mentioned in susut nidanastan 13th chapter pravahana atisarabhyam nirgachyate gudambahi ruksha durbala dehasya tam gudabram samadise so already we discussed pravahana vata prakopa ahara ruksha deha durbala deha these are the factors list to guda bramsa so coming to etiology usually according to the modern counterpart it is usually the cause is unknown but alex moskvich suggested that prolapse is a sliding hernia through a defect in the pelvic fascia so this is the uh, surgeon Uh, he quoted this uh, it is one type of sliding hernia another surgeon brodin and snellman proposed that prolapse is a circum actually a circumferential intersubsurface of the rectum so one is a sliding hernia number another mentioned about a intersubsurface but intersubsurface is a different pathology different thing but the earlier they, they mentioned as a rectal prolapse also once and type intersubsurface See some of the predisposing factors identified, like a poor bowel habit, especially constipation. Fifty-two percent of the patients are constipation. Some neurological disorders, like a spinal cord injury, a spinal nerve injury, or pudendal nerve injury damage, then there is a chances of rectal collapse. And commonly seen in the female patients, uh, deep pouch of Douglas, patulous anus. and diastasis of the levator and a muscle any defect in the levator and a muscle contraction and any history of operative procedure like hemorrhoidectomy fistulectomy etc in obstetric surgeries also the chances of the rectal collapse then decreased sacral curvature and decreased anal canal tone are the probable causes in the infants and uh, oligar they mentioned about the psychotic causes also 3% he mentioned and maximum long history of constipation and straining is 52% of the cases are regarding this and other aggravating factors like diarrhea or straining factors like cough malnutrition or the additional factors in the children and reduced iscorectal fossa factors when reduced iscorectal fossa fat because of malnutrition and these are the sampratti ghatakas according to ayurveda vata prakopa ahara and vihara it is a nidana mainly vata dosha involved dushya is mamsa srotas is purusha vah srotas and agni is jataragni mandya is manda sroto dushti ati pravrti and sanga and roga marga is madhyama roga marga the involvement of sthana is pakvasaya udbhava sthana adhisthana is guda okay these are the sampratti ghatakas involved the formation of the guda bramsha see classification coming to counter modern counterpart there are two types of rectal collapse one is called partial rectal collapse another is complete rectal collapse you see usually in infants and children we are saying that partial rectal collapse is the commonest and here the mucosa and submucosa of the rectum descends not all the layers it is partially prolapsed and the length of the that prolapse is not more than 3.75 cm but complete rectal prolapse it is also called as a procedentia consisting of all layers including uh, mucosa submucosa and muscular layer of the rectal wall and a descending sliding hernia more than 3.75 cm in length that means more than 3.75 cm we can consider as a complete rectal prolapse it goes up to 10 to 14 cm in length okay usually in partial 
there is mucosa and submucosa of the rectum descends and complete all layers of the rectal wall descends the clinical features one three fourth of the patient report with the protrusion half of the patients has complaint of the constipation and significant bleeding is seen unless the prolapse is massive or irreducible sometimes continuous um, prolapse of rectum if it is irreducible they develop ulcerations and leads to bleeding and gradually the complaint is of fecal incontinency is another complaint of the rectal prolapse patients see the pots and colleagues suggested stretch injury to pudendal and perineal nerves loss of continence in individual with rectal prolapse secondary to prolonged protrusion we identified that to the injury to the pudendal and perineal nerves this is the infant case the direct downward course of rectum due to undeveloped sacral curve predisposed to this condition commonly seen in the infants and in children common aggravating factors like diarrhea coughing cough loss of weight consequent loss of his rectal fossa associated with fibrocystic disease neurological causes and mal development causes of the pelvis leads to rectal prolapse in the children coming to the adults the condition is often associated with third degree hemorrhoids or straining from urethral obstruction or as a complication of operation of fistula in nano or atony in old age that's why in old age you must to identify differentiate between the third degree hemorrhoids and prolapsed rectum we will discuss later and this is the very important uh, the differentiation between the partial rectal prolapse and complete rectal prolapse see in partial rectal prolapse already we discussed less than 3.75 cm complete rectal prolapse it is more than 3.75 cm and partial is commonly seen in the children but complete is commonly seen in the adult and elderly people and color by coloring of the mucosa also is very important in partial rectal prolapse pink in color and complete rectal prolapse is red in color and here radial folds we observed but in complete rectal prolapse you can see the concentric rings and mucosa and submucosa descends in partial rectal prolapse but here complete all the layers of the rectum descends so this is the differentiation between the partial rectal prolapse and complete rectal prolapse so this is the appearance of partial and complete already we discussed this is the radial folds of the mucosal prolapse in first figure you can see radial folds and second figure in complete rectal prolapse the concentric rings of the porosidentia so you see already i mentioned about the partial prolapse is pink in color and complete prolapse is a red in color so this is also a differentiative feature of the partial prolapse and complete rectal prolapse then clinical which are mentioned in susu samhita nigachati gudam bahi the prolapse protruding from the rectum it is called as a gudam pramsa in some of the complication rectal prolapse you can see if not treated properly rectal rectal plugs they developed as ulceration strangulation urinary and fecal incontinence and there is a spontaneous rupture with evaceration so these are the common complications we can see in the rectal prolapse it not properly treated so you see the differentiation here prolapse or piles and rectal prolapse see prolapse or piles usually the hemorrhoids prolapse are only in 3 o'clock 7 o'clock and 11 o'clock with the radial folds in between the prolapse of the piles you can see the gap there is no continuity that is a very important differentiation of the prolapse of the piles simply don't like it as a chara sutra for prolapse of the piles and mimicking like a rectal prolapse don't like it i have seen some unqualified doctors they they uh, imagine they diagnosed as a rectal prolapse as a prolapse of the piles and they tightly applied and they developed as a severe pain and necrosis then we relieved the patient and ulcerations and we sutured also that's why is the diagnosis is very important 
in between rectal prolapse and prolapsed piles. Then this is another differential diagnosis of, uh, especially in uh, children's, uh, there is a polypoid lesion. You can see large rectal polypoid lesion also. See, it looks like a prolapse. It is a differential diagnosis, but here is a stock is there. Then coming to special investigations, in practice, one is anorectal manometry. See, here there is a two types of pressures they will assess by resting pressure, Another is squeezing pressure. Testing pressure, especially to assess internal splinter 40 mm is the normal. And squeezing pressure is 80 mm is of the external splinter. Usually, this anorectal manometry to measure by placing water filled balloons attached to the catheters and transducers placed in the anal canal. Then you can identify seen in the computer and we can get the graph just like ECG. See, another is called nowadays is called deficography or MRI deficography. Nowadays, it is available in the market. You see, you can assess the uh, these pressures of rectum and anal canal. And another is called colposisto deficography. There is another condition is called colposisto deficography. Here, we can show the anorectal angle to measure different positions of the bowl evacuation. Then some other investigations like cine defecography, triple contrast cine defecography, etc. to assess the anal tonicity in rectal prolapse. See, this is another one small equipment I designed in 2004 uh, in SDM College of Ayurveda during my first study on Chara Karma in rectal prolapse. In that time, we identified that uh, Simply, we applied Chara Karma after it reducing and you can take the photos, we will not assess scientifically. That time, these anal manometries, so spintrometers are very difficult available. Or one or two centers in that particular state, it is available, but very, very, very costly and sophisticated and very difficult to get the results from the patients. Then we made a small equipment to assess the spinter tonicity of a rectal prolapse patient before, during, and after treatment. See, this spinterometer, you can assess the anal spinter tonicity and know the normal spinter tonicity in rectal prolapse and anal structure or stenosis. Electronics is a very device, very costly. Uh, that's why we made this uh, modified spinterometer. And uh, there are three parts. It is just, you can see the what is called dialed blood pressure equipment and we connecting with the inflation deflation bulb and with the connecting with the inflatable elastic balloon okay that balloon it inflates the balloon till the patient feels discomfort and note the reading in the meter here that balloon is first inserted into the rectum and we can take the inflation deflation bulb and you can deflate and inflate it and hold when the patient is compliant, discomfort, then stop the reading and you can identify in the spring meter, in the meter record in the corresponding pressure in the anal sphincter. Then you can identify the, what is the MMHG. We conducted a, in healthy individuals, around 100 healthy individuals also, we assess that what is the normal sphincter tonicity. See, already I explained patient is in lithotomy position. Apply first lubricant on the balloon. Insert the balloon 4 centimeters into the anal canal. Then infiltrate the balloon till the patient feels discomfort. And you correspond the pressure in the spring meter. You can note it. After deflate the balloon and take out the balloon from the anal canal. See, normal anal spinter tonicity we observed in 100 healthy individuals is... 80 to 100 mm Hg. But if you go for rectal prolapse, the spinter tonicity is very low or hypotonicity. Then the spinter tonicity increases up to 200 mm Hg. That indicates before treatment 200 mm Hg and after treatment and follow-up treatment, the gradually 200 mm Hg is continuously gradually reducing. 
like uh, 100 110 120 130 like that that indicates uh, the annual winter tonicity is increased so coming to treatment in sushirta chikitsa sthana i mentioned uh, guda bramsa treatment guda bramse guda swinnam sneha abhyaktam praveshayet karayet gopana bandha madhya chidrena charmina unirga mardam vayasche swedayacha mohormohom you see, in Sushikisa, you mentioned about the reposition the rectum after doing Swedana and Sneha Abhyanga and apply Gofana Bandha, T bandage, with a hole in the middle. A repeated Swedana has to be done. So you can see this type of management can helpful for partial rectal prolapse. You uh, can give Swedana, Sneha Abhyanga and Gofana Bandha. And uh, you can go for two types of treatment. One is Anusastrakata and Asastrakata. See, Anusastrakata, best what I am practicing is Pratisaraniya Chara Karma and uh, Asastra Kuta, the reposition of the Buddha, Snehana, Svedana, Anuvashana Vasti, internally Paniyakshara. See, these are the measures with uh, Asastra Kuta as a conservative management. And external application, typically they given the refer references in Ayurvedic classics. One is Mushika Tela, number two is Changiri Adi Gurta. See, these two, Mushika, Tela, Changari, Guta, they are using uh, in rectal prolapse, especially Mushika, Tela for external application, and Changari, Guta, internally we can give, and we can apply the external also. And Anuvasana, Basti, we can give Mushika, Tela, or Shati, Satavaha, and Kushta, Vacha, Chitraka, and Gruta, Amla, or Gruta combination, Dashamula, Bilva, Gruta combination, Changari, Gruta, we can go for the Anuvasana Vasti. I prefer Changaryadi Gurta. Then external internal administration, Changaryadi Gurta, already explained internal administration, 10 to 15 ml, we can go for BD. And Chavyadi Gurta, 10 to 15 ml BD. Amla Gurta is a 10 to 15 ml BD. And Pani Akshara, better Pani Akshara, you can go for Yavakshara, Apa Margakshara, etc. You can go for 1 to 2 Rati, approximately 250 mg. BD. Then coming to motor counterpart, uh, the treatment of uh, partial rectal prolapse in children, usually they advise uh, digital repositioning or submucosal injection. In adults, uh, test operation and excision of the prolapsed mucosa. So these are the commonest procedures are uh, going in present scenario. And treatment of complete rectal prolapse, narrowing of anal orifice one. Obliteration of the perineal pouch of the Douglas, <coughs> restoration of the pelvic floor, resection of the bowel. So many techniques are there. You can go for the extra prolapse, resection, transabdominal approach, perineal approach, transsexual approach, etc. On suspension or fixation of the rectum to the sacrum or pubis or other structures, and combination of any above one or two procedures. See, in, uh, there is some other non-operative treatment mentioned in rectal prolapse, like adhesive strapping of the buttocks, manual anal support during defecation, correction of constipation, perineal stentical exercises, like Kegel exercises, infrared coagulation, rubber ring ligation, injection of sclerogen, these are the non-operative treatment of the rectal prolapse. Then today's, uh, what I am practicing uh, since last 20, <coughs> three years, Chara Karma in rectal prolapse. See, everybody knows about, uh, there are three types of Kshara. One is Murdukshara, Madhyamakshara, Tikshnakshara. Murdukshara means single drug. You can take any one panchanga and prepare it as a Kshara, just like what they mentioned in Susrita Samhita Chara Karma chapter. Uh, that you can take as a mudukshara. For example, Apa Marga is mudukshara. If you add Madhyamakshara like Shukti and Apa Marga, that is Madhyamakshara. If you add Tikshnakshara, that is Chitraka, then you can say Tikshnakshara. Apa Marga is Murdu, Shukti is Madhyama, Chitraka is Tikshna. I, three drugs we prepared according to the <coughs> preparation. Then we can get up to 
TH value of 13.8. Okay. That is Pratisarnia Tikshna Kshara. And uh, this is a phytochemical study conducted in our NIA. And this is the prepared uh, Apamarga Kshara. This is a phytochemical study of Muduk Kshara. And prepared Apamarga plus uh, Shukti. That is Madhyama Kshara. And uh, Apamarga, Shukti and Chitraka. So three drugs we are taken as a Tikshna Kshara. And we did phytochemical study. And before going to procedure, these drugs and equipments are needed before the application of Kshara Karma. One is Apamarga Tikshna Pratisar Nyakshar in paste form. The Nyaka Chidra and Vichidra show in the normal proctoscope and also for the slit proctoscope. Alice tissue forces, straight artery forces, Darwin Mukha Salaka, cotton or gauze visu, nimbus varasa, lipium water, kidney tree, ST Madhutela and uh, modified spinterometer we can assess before, during and after treatment of the rectal prolapse with the Shara Karma. See, these are the equipments already explained here. Uh, it is a Shara is there and uh, slit proctoscope, normal proctoscope and uh, lemon juice, alice for sips. Okay, these are all needed during application. And coming to Pura Karma, usually I preferred almost all the rectal prolapse cases under local anesthesia. That's why I advise the patient before 2 to 4 hours nilorally, then tetanus toxide, pot preparation, and you can go for a small soap water. Better go for the uh, proctoclis enema uh, before 2 hours of the Pradhan Karma. Then after bowel evacuation, then you can plan for procedure in operation theatre. See, coming to operation, usually the patient is in lithotomy position. First, after lithotomy position, first I assess the annual spinter tonicity with the uh, modified spinterometer. After that assessment, then you can take the reading approximately 200 or 180 before treatment of MMHG. Then pot cleaned with aseptic solutions and you can go for under local anesthesia, either plain lignocaine or lignocaine with adrenaline. Then after that, you can reduce the lubricated proctoscope to rule out other pathology of anal canal. Then introduce the slit proctoscope. Then you can apply the shara on anal canal and lower rectal mucosa. Approximately 4 to 5 centimeters shara you can apply it surrounding. So wait up to 100 matra kara, that is 1 to 2 minutes. And mucosa turns to the color of pakpa jambu pala. It is a reddish black in it. But some patients, uh, we can't achieve the jambu palavarna. Usually, we can achieve jambu palavarna, pakwa jambu palavarna, usually in internal hemorrhoids. But you can see here, there is a pakwa jambu pala. We can not that much achieve, but maximum cases we have seen the achievement of that pakwa jambu palavarna that it indicates properly the of rectal mucosa. See, after that, then clean with warm water and uh, after Pakka Jambu Palavarna, then you can wash with lemon juice. And uh, slit proctoscope you can remove. And same procedure repeated circumferentially around the anal canal. Later, you can go for rectal pack with either Eshtimadhi Taila or Changere the Gruta. Then this is the post-operative uh, Care. You can give liquid diets after two to four hours and pack removed after six hours. Then advise sitch bath with trifla decaution or tankanabas, etc. And you can give trifla gugulu or gandhakrasana to TDS, shat chakar churna 5 EMS. And changir gruta, usually I prefer 10 to 15 ml BD regularly for up to minimum one month. And if needed, we can go for analgesics, antibiotics, and <clears throat> anti-inflammatory drugs and Changere Gruta Pichu you can advise and uh, 10 ml Estimadu Taila or Mahanarana Taila or Changere Gruta we can give perfectly twice daily as a Matra Vasti see some of the uh, diagrammatic rep representation of before, during and after one day after three months you can see the Buddha Brahmsa 
that this are near sharp this is one case and you can see completely uh, rectal prolapse it reduced after treatment then this is a small child referred with a pediatrician i think around 10 years boy and we did this case under uh, general anesthesia and we applied chara uh, you can see jambu palavarna we can achieve here now that that you can see there is a, after third day we can see uh, completely there is a uh, descent of the prolapse is a reduced so this is another case of complete rectal prolapse a female patient you can see uh, before during and after application so this is also another case of uh, complete rectal prolapse so we are applying pethisarnia uh, tikshakshara with help of set proctoscope and this is before during and after treatment of rectal prolapse this is also another case of uh, Uh, before during and after application of rectal prolapse with chara karma this is also another case of rectal prolapse before during and after application of chara karma you see previously we can see there is a tonicity also increased so we observed that too. and this is also another use case you can see we are measuring uh, spinter modified spinterometer and we are measuring for before procedure and this is uh, during and after procedures see so this is another case during and after procedure see so this is also it is not a hemorrhage it is a rectal prolapse and we applied chara this is also another case of uh, before during and after you can see the application clearly with pethisarnia tikshna chara right And this is also another case of rectal prolapse before, during, and after procedure. This is also another case of rectal prolapse before and during application, and after application, and follow-up condition. See, these are the advantages like mild post-operative pain. Um, there is no bleeding, minimal hospitalization, cost-effective. and no surgical complications what you have seen that this is the probable mode of action of kshar application of pethisarnia kshar and gudabhramsa it developed as aseptic inflammation followed sloughing of necrosed tissue in 7 to 10 days they developed as a caustic fibrosis mucus membrane affixed to the muscular coat to increase the tonicity of the anus sphincter and rectal prolapse is reduced this is the Uh, probable mode of action of chara uh, and gudabhramsa and some of the complications we have seen uh, after application of chara also okay one bleeding sometimes there is a chances of bleeding or more rubbing with the uh, shalaka there is a chances of bleeding number two pain and burning pain you have seen a discharge sometimes sloughing of that material abscess formation also we have seen some cases stricture formation if you not properly followed follow properly at least weekly once we can assess the patient by finger examination digitally or not okay if any developed stricture then you can go for dilators or matra basti etc it relieves really the stricture also okay and the recurrence if it is complete rectal prolapse may chances of recurrence and then again you can apply for chara karma and later there is no no chances of recurrence see these are the various publications hmm. ah various publications uh, uh, regarding gudabhramsa published in various journal hmm, journals you can go to the net by rectal prolapse with chara karma so many articles we can see in the net these are the publications and these are the publications and these are the publications of chara karma and rectal prolapse we see that and uh, is there other subject journals 
These are the various journals publications regarding Chara Karma. See, some of the research works conducted on Chara. These are the research works. And I'm proud to say that the Chara therapy is an Indian contribution to the world science. Thank you. Thank you all. Any questions, we'll go for question and answer session. Actually, we conducted two studies. Uh, you can apply circumferentially all around the anus, or you can apply 3711 also. Nothing will happen. Okay. Okay. Uh, you can apply both also. Uh, one of the, the candidate asked that, is there any video of operative procedure? Is there, but uh, in what uh, webinars is very difficult to play it, you know. It okay, is there. Okay. So many cases we recorded here. Okay. Hmm. Sir, one more question is there. Where to apply Shar? Inner side or outer side? No, inner side only. From anal verge to the anal canal and lower rectal mucosa. Okay, don't go for higher rectal mucosa. Okay. Or simply you can apply anal canal also sufficient or up to one centimeter rectal mucosa. Okay. Let's say what happened, who will practice rectal prolapse better train Shara Karma in hemorrhoids. Don't go for without any expertise, without any uh, training, don't apply Shara Karma in rectal prolapse. This is my sincere request. Why? Because rectal prolapse is different and internal hemorrhoids is different. So we have seen, that's why we have seen the developed chances of not properly taking, simply applied, you can send is not quite real. In hemorrhoids, we are, one or two days, we, are, we will send to the patient, discharge. But rectal prolapse, we, at least one week, we are admitting to the patient. Until properly passing of the stools, we will send the patient. And up to six months, we are going for a follow, like weekly once, 15 days once, monthly once, like that. So this is very important. Because I have seen sometimes they develop as a bleeding, sometimes they develop as abscess, sometimes they develop structure. See, if properly we can train, we can do it. Nothing will happen. That's why what happened? First you try internal piles, application of chara in internal piles. You have a master at least 50 cases, then you have a command to practice chara karma in rectal piles. Any other doubts? What are the precautions that we have to take to avoid complication? Uh, that's why I'm telling one is proper follow-up. One. Number two, uh, every weekly once they are calling the patient, you can see the tonicity of the patient. Okay, to avoid strictures. Okay. And matra vasti. We will give matra vasti minimum three weeks. Okay, either Changeri Gruta or Yeshti Madhu Taila, you can go for Matra Vasti. 15 to 20 ml morning and evening, you can go for that. Okay. Another thing, Changeri Gruta internally also we can give. 15 ml internally also or 2 to 3 spoons, we can do internally before and before food for two times. That is main is follow. According to follow, we can manage it. Okay. Any other Sir, questions? Yeah. Uh, instead of thickness, sharp, sharp, mm. can we 
मृदु और मध्यम क्षार ऑन हिमोराइड्स एंड व्हाट आर द ओके ओके सी वी कंडक्टेड वन स्टडी इन आवर इंस्टीट्यूट एज ए पीएचडी वर्क एफेक्ट ऑफ मृदु मध्यम तीक्ष्ण क्षार इन इंटरनल हेमराइड्स ओके पीएचडी बट व्हाट हैपन द मृदु क्षार इज नॉट दैट मच हेल्पफुल इज नॉट एक्टिंग ऑलमोस्ट यू कैन से इट इज नॉट एक्टिंग ऑन इंटरनल हेमराइड्स मृदु क्षार बेसिकली फॉर पानीय क्षार सी वी ट्राइड and uh, we are not getting any results murdukshara and pakka jambu palavarna also not achieved and sloughing also not taken but uh, madhyama akshara and tikshna akshara we can apply in the internal hemorrhoids definitely we can get the results by the internal hemorrhoids with the murduk madhyama akshara and tikshna akshara okay uh, up, to, up to which age in children we can do kshara karma Uh, better my friends that's why i'm telling uh, chara karma apply in children's only expertise only you can do it don't unnecessarily create complications okay but because expertise like me i'm proud to say that why because uh, we have a proper expertise only you can go for chara karma in children's okay see why because this, this is needed any any procedure any surgical or parasurgical procedure properly especially for pediatric patients you must to by expertise you can apply it so in my practice what happen i started 8 9 years 10 years also why because uh, locally we can't do it we can go for under general anesthesia and before application of chara karma especially see, in internal hemorrhoids nothing we can't see in children but in rectal prolapse partial rectal prolapse you can see that but our conservative management like matra basti internal administration of changeri gruta and proper bandaging it reduces or you identify the cause of the rectal prolapse that is most important in the children why because if a neurological problem you must to correct neurological problem if everything is normal there is no malnutrition then you can go for chara karma better after 10 years okay uh, can we apply char on bleeding piles why not definitely immediately it stop the bleeding within 1 to 2 minutes 1 minute itself stop the bleeding we can use okay and can we apply char to dentate or above the dentate line yeah, above you know we can go up to anorectal junction we can go it no problem total anal canal it will apply you can go it but don't very careful in rectal mucosa then thank you see, very much because see, all the practical cl- classes you eh, know better don't practice by uh, seeing webinars and listening at least you can work with uh, experts at least one week minimum one week what is going on there and you are you can attend some certificate course practical courses why because these are all surgical and parasurgical procedures are the uh, direct programs actually see these programs is awareness of our ayurvedic uh, procedures definitely but uh, don't practice uh, without any expertise and without uh, uh, thing this is definitely it is a susutha quotation if it not properly trained the name as a kuvaidya why because so many times uh, we we can get the complications if, see in earlier stages you never imagine our pg scholars also if you applied we, we faced some of the problems in post operative also but we can correct in uh, institutions but private practice we must to take care uh, sir we will surely actually uh, practical courses actually we have a separate courses are there char karmas but because of covid problem we are not started that programs in our institute previously we conducted 45 days program but we plan within short why because after covid only you see we don't know a practical training almost uh, stopped only we are in hospital we are we are performing our procedures regularly after covid and all uh, what is called corona covid parameters we are taking and measures we are following uh, we are practicing our institution 
But training program, what happened? I think because of last two years, we have not conducted this program. Such I think after co Corona, if you think reduced, then we will go for practical training programs. We will surely attend that practical uh, session, of, and uh, we will like to introduce new uh, procedure in our practice also of mainly anorectal cases, and it was really. Nice and wonderful lecture about new avenue in uh, pile fissure, mainly piles um, internal hemorrhoid and rectal prolapse about the uh, shar karma. It was really nice to hear, and we are thankful again on behalf of Shreyas E Learning Academy and also all our uh, delegates that you gave your valuable time to us and shared your experience. Thank you very much. And ahead also, we will like to share some uh, some of your experiences in various topics. Sir. Thank you very much for accepting invitation. Definitely. And uh, I think we should stop here. And we'll meet tomorrow for yes. another session. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you a lot. Thank you for <clears throat> patience listening. Thank you.